Okay, so we're looking at how to solve this problem. The question says, Mr. Wood is playing crazy golf. He is 34 meters from the 16th hole and tries to demonstrate the correct way to play a chip shot onto the green. He hits the ball towards the hole with a velocity of 10 meters per second at an angle of 65 degrees from horizontal. So we're dealing with this in two dimensions only. Three dimensions doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about left or right. You imagine that he's going straight towards the hole. A, how long will the ball take to land? So, let's go through this in order. Start with the first question. So if we go back to the question, we know that um, the velocity is 10 meters, we know the angle. Now we also know the um, direction. We know the distance that it will cover vertically, because the distance it will cover vertically, if we assume that the hole is flat, the distance it will cover vertically is zero. So the first thing we need to do is to draw out our um, diagram. So we have an example here. We know that we are hitting this at an angle of 60 degrees from horizontal. Pardon me, 65 degrees. With a velocity of 10 meters per second. So the next thing we need to do is work out the components of our velocity. So we need our horizontal and our vertical velocity. Our horizontal velocity will be 10 cos 65 degrees. This is because we have a triangle where the horizontal is the adjacent of this triangle. The vertical velocity will be 10 sine 65 because this will be the um, opposite of this triangle. So at this point we start working with SUVAT. Now we're going to work it in two dimensions. So we do SUVA, and remember T is common to both dimensions, but SUVA as well. And I'm going to label these with an X. So SX, UX, VX, and AX, that's not a 9, it's an A. Um, SY, UY, VY, and AY. Now I know, for example, I, well, I don't know any of the distances yet. We need to work out what we do know and what we don't know to start with. So I'm going to fill this in here. S of y equals 0. We know the initial velocity in the vertical direction is 10 sine 65. And the acceleration is minus 9.81 because we're assuming that 10 is upwards in this case. We don't know v, but we don't need to know. We want to know t. So now we need to know... What equation do we use for this? In a lot of cases, you're going to be using the same equation, which is a simple one, which is um, s equals ut plus half at squared. So let's look at that now. We go s equals ut plus one half at squared. Now I know that the distance covered is zero. So I'm going to put zero here. Equals ut plus half at squared. Now that enables me to um, equal this, to create the both sides and cancel out a t, otherwise this will be a really complicated equation. Okay, so I can rearrange this equation to be now ut equals, or minus ut rather, equals one half at squared. And that enables me to actually cancel out a t. So, in other words, I know that now minus u is equal to one half a t. Now, if we go back to that again, we go minus u is equal to half a t. We want t. We don't know what t is, so we're trying to find that. So, eventually, we're going to end up with minus u divided by one half a equals t. Now, I know that u was um, 10 sine 65 divided by one half of minus 9.81 which will give me a negative, negative divided by a negative which equals t. Now if I work that out that is equal to so that actually gives me 1.84 seconds. So we now know the time of flight which means we can solve the equation in both dimensions now. So the last thing we need to do then is solve the equation in the horizontal direction because our question has asked how far away from the hole do, do, do I land? So I need to know how far I go. We know the time now. 
which is 1.84 seconds. We know that the velocity in the x direction is um, 10 cos 65. And now we want to know s. Now there is no acceleration in the horizontal direction, so we can use s equals ut plus half at squared, which simplifies down because a equals zero. It makes s is equal to ut. And because s equals ut, all we need to do is multiply the two together and we find our horizontal velocity. So s is equal to 10 cos 65 times 1.84 and this will give us our distance. Now this distance eventually comes to and so our distance equals 7.78 meters which is not 34 meters. Basically my, my chip shot was absolute rubbish but that is okay because, well, it's only a physics question, isn't it? Um, in any case, what we've just done is we've used one dimension to find the time, and then we've solved the problem in the other dimension. This is a common thing. So the second question actually asks a similar one, um, which we're going to go on to in the next tutorial.